Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. A little bit ago, I had done a video talking about how Tony and I price jobs on the higher end of competitive. And I was offering that as a suggestion. I do realize, I mentioned, that some folks, you know, because they're either doing the cleaning or it's highly specialized, that they require very high premium pricing. And I, I said that that's fine, but if you're trying to be scalable and really trying to have lots of employees and do lots of buildings, let's say in office cleaning, you're going to, you have to be careful because something I wanted to mention today, if your prices are too high beyond competitive range, then you may be vulnerable. So let's just talk about that just for a minute, something to keep in mind when you're pricing. So I do realize that let's say you find those folks in those buildings that are really willing to reward you because they get you, they like you, they love your cleaning, they love the specialty of it, that's terrific. But if you're going to be in a competitive office cleaning environment, someday things may change. The person that you know for so long who maybe hired you, maybe they leave, or let's let's say that they're under the build the business is under financial pressure. So they're required to go back out and get competitive cleaning quotes. And for the office cleaning that's going on, even though they love your cleaning and they love you, they may go, oh, but your prices are re really out of range. Now you're more vulnerable. Secondly, again, what if someone leaves and it was replaced by someone new that's the contact? Well, we've heard the expression, well, a new broom sweeps clean. So a new manager might take competitive bids. And then they come in and compare to you somebody they really like, who they agreed to pay, they agreed to pay you that, but now they look at it with new eyes and go, boy, that price is way out of range. So it doesn't mean you can't charge premium prices. It just means give some thought to this, this idea of being vulnerable or too vulnerable uh, when you do your pricing, something to factor into it. So, so that your pricing strategy, again, takes you where you want to go, not just today, but moving into the future. It may be worth a little thought as you price. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.